This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Tired of missing out on figures or paying scalper prices at toy stores? Then go ahead and visit DJC Collectibles, my sponsor. You can get 10% on anything Transformers, accumulate points, and sometimes score an exclusive figure you thought you'd miss forever. Head over to DJC Collectibles and start saving today. Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane. I'm back with another review and today I'm doing a little bit of this because I received these for this fantastic figure. Nothing wrong with Swoop now because thanks to diecast norms, uh, we all know how to properly close that gap, which was a big problem. Uh, but it's just a matter of where you press to close it, and it's fantastic. Um, you know what? Since I closed it, I didn't reopen it, so I don't know if it's going to be way harder to reopen now. But anyway, and thanks to Patriot Prime, I also got this little set of decals uh, because if you ordered before, I think it was August 6th, uh, there's a decal on this sheet that wasn't cut properly, so that's the amended part. So make sure that you know if you well now if you order it's fixed, but if you add or if you had ordered before the six, you need this anyway. Um, so yeah, we're gonna take a look at that, and that's gonna complete my Dinobot toy hack set. Uh, and you know it's it's just so fun, and that the Dinobot sets have been so good so far. So uh, kudos to toy hacks, they do know what they're doing. But before I do the review, I just want to remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of, and also check out my interview playlist, something that it still blows my mind that actors came on my channel and to have a, an hour chat with me. So take a look at that. And now let's roll the intro. Well, let me tell you that opening that chest now uh, was a lot harder. I had to wedge this thing in between and pry in. Anyway, well, it's solid now, so I'm really happy. Uh, but anyway, let's take a look at the decals. Uh, we have like six sheets. So you have um, swords, and I'm guessing maybe something in the back. Not too sure. Looks really good, though. Uh, I have here mechanical parts possibly eyes I don't know we'll see but well, I'm not gonna switch the blue eyes though uh, you have I don't know, little silver fillers uh, got you know pinholes other things here I don't know all looks good uh, red stuff and then here and here uh, you have uh, most of the silver stuff uh, the chrome stuff and then this I'm trying to find out which part is the replacement I think it's here yeah if I go like this it does seem to fit the same so something in there oh it's the interior here doesn't seem to be cut so all right, but already he looks good. I mean, this is you know, cartoon accurate. This is gonna make it more toy uh, reminiscent. And I have like usually I go for the pure cartoon look, but with the Dinobots, I don't know. I kind of like the chrome and all the added details. So um, yeah, but he looks good. I mean, he already has all the gold colors and nice swords are gonna get upgraded. You know. Um, I don't think he's gonna have stuff in the back here, but the wings are probably gonna get a lot of uh, details added, so that's uh, that's a plus. Can't complain there. So there you go, quick look at Swoop, and now let's get him painted. Metal of good old days, not so good. Well, that took me about two hours. He looks fantastic. The I didn't put the eye decals because I didn't see that much difference. Uh, I did put it for the Dinobot logo, but I'm, I'm not a big fan of placing eye decals. But you can see a lot of difference. Uh, the swords, uh, so you get two decals for the soup sword and one decal, well, on both sides for the uh, Grimlock sword. 
so they look pretty good we're gonna take them out to make this handling easier uh, you have a decal here and you have like a series of decal you have those like green ones uh, on the side and then you have in the middle you have like a silver one in like five steps so the green one uh, the exterior is in one take uh, no, I mean the interior the exterior is like three decals and then the silver one in the middle is like five but you do get uh, replacements if uh, if you screw up uh, you have I oh mean there's so many uh, I'll, we'll do the wings and everything afterwards you have this decal here you have a over so that was hard to apply because basically the red is still the plastic so and it used to be all red and then you're adding silver around it so that was not easy to cover because it's one decal you have like new shinier blue shoulders uh, one decal here and here and then you have an over all around you have this one here matches on the other side two decals on the abs and then you have a three piece on on here uh, this will show more in um, you know dyno mode um, hmm oh this was all gray so now you have like red around it so that was also hard to apply here they added a little bit of gray uh, on top of the red uh, that was fun to line up as well you have this decal here um, oh yeah and the head well it's gonna show more in alt mode but you do have like those new lines um, I think that's pretty much it for the robot specific decals uh, yeah pretty much all right let's go ahead and put him in dino mode maximum strength when drawing power from the sun and now in pterodon mode uh, he looks good but I can't wait to see uh, you know all that chrome added to his wings that's gonna be fun uh, you know hopefully some details added here and probably a lot of you know robot decals are gonna translate well right here so yeah underneath as well too maybe something for the guns I don't know we'll see he already looks pretty amazing and with that fix it's pretty perfect so can't really complain but let's take a look at what toy hacks does for the guy me swoop do fancy flying now and now back from the paint shop uh, the dyno mode really pops you have you know a couple decals um, that you see coming back from the robot mode uh, like uh, here on uh, the side of the, the, the top uh, this here in the back you do get um, those little grills uh, little details here and here and then in front you do have uh, new golden details right here uh, looks real good and uh, you have the head with that you know new kind of uh, lined um, I don't know it looks like he has like cavities not cavities but uh, you know holes uh, inside so um, yeah it's pretty cool but if you look at the wings wow that's a lot so it's, I mean, there's one here. This is the decal that was uh, replaced by Toy Hacks because the in inside on the original wasn't cut. So that's pretty cool. Matches every, uh, you know, every line. And then there is lines that you can line up with every decals, like molded lines that you line up with the decal. So that's pretty neat, very well done. The little holes here that you go over and then you put a new Autobot logo on top of it. Here you have like, Tons of little decals, kind of hard to to do, um, but you do have a lot of duplicates, so that's pretty cool. Uh, you have these here and here; it goes around all those little rivets. That's pretty cool. Here you have a decal split in two that goes around that uh, gray line. Uh, very well done. Uh, same thing on the other side, and then underneath. Um, maybe if I raise the arm a little bit. You do have like those two uh, decals here you have one right there and then you have two decals on the inside of, of the wings you have those mechanical details right here 
and then you have uh, a big decal at the tip but you have like four little decals inside here uh, and again you have duplicates for that and the rest is pretty much you know what you saw in robot mode and then you have the new eyes that I did use and uh, make sure you lift that up before uh, because it's if not it kind of glues on the top and then when you lift it up they they you know they they, they stay with the top part it's kind of weird but yeah I think that's a fantastic set let me just clean this up I'll be right back Dinobots transform <laughs> Well, here's the money shot. All my Dinobots toy hacks. Uh, first time using a flight stand, and I'm I'm not too. Sh I'm, I don't know it holds, but I, it feels shaky. So I'm gonna have to work on that. But um, I think this set, all these sets, are worth it. They enhance the Dinobots quite a bit, and it's fantastic. I think it's money well spent. I love the result, and this is gonna be one of the pride of my collection. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you've enjoyed this, if you did please like, subscribe and hit the bell, also leave a comment, love reading those, keep coming back after on the way and remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care!